Welcome everyone back to Weekly Weather Updates, and this afternoon for our first, first video we're going to be having a look at the latest for the big heat wave we're seeing over parts of Europe at the moment. Now it is southern Europe near the Mediterranean that's seeing these exceptional temperatures, so not really too close to the UK, but it does show you the sort of heat that is around this time of year um, that we could start dragging up if the UK did start to get high pressure building up towards the end of this month. So do remember if you enjoyed my videos, make sure to like and subscribe, and do remember to follow me on Twitter as well, links in the description. I'll be posting my UK outlook later this afternoon to this evening, so do stay tuned for that but we have provisionally got a new european temperature record 48.8 degrees in syracuse in sicily down um, in the south of italy um and we've seen exceptional temperatures widely as well getting into 40 degrees but 48.8 degrees breaking the previous record of 48 uh, degrees um, now, it is provisional, and we'll have a look at the official um, notice from the World Meteorological Organization in a minute, um, which uh, shows you sort of their process. But we still could see more records broken as the heat is now transferring a little bit further westwards towards Iberia. So Spain could be seeing um, its temperatures get broken this weekend. Its Spanish temperature record is 47.3 degrees uh, in Montoro, uh, 13th of July 2017. And that looks likely to be going where we could be seeing 48, if not a tad higher. Maybe even getting towards that 48.8 degrees. We've, we've also seen 50 degrees in North Africa towards Tunisia. Um, but again, that's not a temperature record for Africa at, the, at this stage, but it still is insanely hot. But it's all around the Mediterranean, so we've had a big air of high pressure um, with this uh, real hot air stuck underneath it as we haven't really seen any big plumes of air head northward so all this hot air that's developing in north africa and the mediterranean is just really sitting there allowing these temperatures to brew when we would see this time of year quite often we would see sort of plumes coming up into northern europe and towards the uk scandinavia but we really haven't seen that for the last few weeks which just meant these temperatures could really take off so exceptional conditions something that i doubt we'll ever see in the uk anything really this high maybe the uk may one day get to 40 degrees but i doubt ever it will get uh, much above that so if we do look at the Latest from the World Meteorological Organization, their tweet uh, that they put out earlier uh, today. Now, this record um, was broken yesterday, um, and it's unlikely to be broken again today because of certain conditions as the heat is moving a bit further westwards, but we could see more temperature records um, over the next few days. But you can see the World Me Meteorological Organization is checking reports of a new European temperature record of 48.8 degrees in Sicily, Italy. We can't confirm or deny its validity um, if, as Athens in Greece holds the existing record of 48 degrees on the 10th of July 1977 and official records. Uh, so check out the official records. So they will have to verify, of course, but at the moment it's 48.8 degrees is likely um, to surpass the record from Athens in, from 1977, um, so exceptional heat. Um, now, I don't want to say anything about climate change, um, as I don't really want to delve into anything too controversial on here, but just shows you that things are definitely getting hotter, whether you do believe um, in changing climate or not. We are seeing hot temperatures, um, and we do have um, potentially and most likely a new temperature record. So if we do have a look at the latest GFS, we'll just run through over the next um, few days. Just looking at this big heat dome we do have over the Mediterranean, big area of high pressure, and if we look at the 850 HPA temperatures, if we do run um, towards this afternoon, as this is the 6 head run to around 3 p.m., you can see a massive heat dome with 30 degrees at 850 HPA. And we've only really seen the low 20s get towards the UK. So 30 degrees over North Africa, into Spain, down towards Italy. You can see where um, we saw the record in Sicily. The hotter air is retreating a little bit further westwards um, towards Central Europe. Now, one thing we do sometimes get with these sort of heat waves, sea breezes, which has meant... Widely, temperatures have only been around 40, 41, 42 degrees. Um, and it does mean some of the islands, although they are under this massive um, amount of hot air at 850 HPA towards the surface, things are not going to be quite, getting quite as hot as if this was over a big, large land mass. So if we do run through the next few days, if we do go to the six-hour format, 
uh, if we do run through the next few days, the heat just continues staying, and you do see it transfers much further westwards towards Spain, and it's towards this weekend, where we can see temperature records broken with 30 degrees at 850 HPA, um, and we could be seeing well into the 40s quite widely, if not getting up to maybe the high 40s, maybe 47, 48 degrees. After that, it does look like the hot air will eventually retreat as high pressure builds out in the Atlantic and pulls out a bit of a northerly plunge. Nothing too cold, but it's just maybe 5, 10 degrees cooler. Still giving temperatures into the 30s, of course, as it breaks down this big heat dome we've sort of seen develop. Similar to what we saw over towards uh, sort of northwest uh, America and parts of Canada earlier in the summer. Um with this sort of big heat developing. Now, that was more exceptional as that was well above um, temperature records. This is only a little bit above temperature records and is not too unusual since we do have a massive desert just to the south of the Mediterranean. But it is still um, exceptional temperatures we've seen. And you can just have a look at the, 800, uh, at the 500 um, HPA um, heights. You can see the big high pressure just sitting there, centered towards Spain by this weekend, giving these really quite exceptional temperatures. So if we do briefly have a look at the Arpege model, which will just give us a bit of a, an estimate on temperatures. Now, of course, locally, temperatures are going to be probably a little bit higher, maybe a few areas a little bit cooler, simply because of microclimates that these um, global models um, aren't able to completely um, verify and have a look at. So temperatures could vary a little bit from this, but this does give the general gist. So you can see by this afternoon, we're going to be seeing temperatures widely again into the mid 40s across north africa potentially low 40s in parts of italy sicily down all the way um, into parts of spain as well as we head into friday uh, if we look at the afternoon you can see the heat starting to subside towards italy maybe the odd 40 degrees here or there um potentially parts of southern france in 37 degrees but you can see towards southern parts of uh, spain 45, maybe 47 degrees, so getting really quite hot. And if we move all the way into Saturday, you can see overnight temperatures still in the th around 30 degrees or if not high 20, so oppressive overnight. And you can see by Saturday afternoon, that's where we could see temperatures really peaking, potentially 47 degrees once again in southern Spain, widely mid to high 30s elsewhere, so maybe 40 degrees in Italy as well. So still very, very hot, even though temperatures are going to be dipping a little bit. But southern Spain, 47 degrees, really quite exceptional. Um, and we can't quite get to Sunday, but still 30 degrees at 6 a.m. So truly exceptional temperatures, um, unprecedented conditions, um, giving temperature records uh, potentially for the whole of Europe and potentially a national record in Spain incoming. There are other records um, being broken so far, but are really... Uh, quite minor records or city records or small country records but breaking the european record and potentially the spanish temperature record truly truly exceptional um for this time well especially um in coming into mid middle of august now um can say the air masses are probably a little bit hotter this time of year compared to if it was in june or july but the sun is starting to weaken um now it's still very hot of course but Remember, the summer solstice was almost two months ago now, so we are starting to see autumn come descending on us, and within about a month's time, we will start to see potentially the first snowfall over the Alps. So, really is exceptional conditions, um, and I hope this never really gets towards the UK. So if we do zoom in on the Mediterranean on the latest radar, you can see there are a few thunderstorms breaking out. As ever with this amount of heat, all you need is a little bit of instability, and you do get a few thunderstorms breaking out. A little bit of cloud and rain elsewhere, but generally things are very dry um, and very, very hot. Well, if we do first have a look at the clouds, you can see very minimal cloud. Some coming into parts of Spain and parts of France, but of course Italy, northern uh, Africa and most parts of Spain, very, very little cloud. And if we do have a look at temperatures, if we do run to the latest temperatures, at around 2.37 this afternoon, you can see the exceptional heat. You see these sort of uh, light pink to white colours is getting sort of 40 degrees plus. Um, so you can see widely we are seeing 40 degrees plus in many areas, parts of Sardinia, down into uh, into parts of Sicily as well. And you can see there's a lot of um, uh, variation uh, in even some of these small islands, simply because 
of sea breezes coming in from the north or uh, and fur further in further inland um, you haven't got those sea breezes things are a little bit hotter so you can see there is a lot of variation but we're seeing exceptional temperatures um, with temperature records being broken um, and it's truly truly exceptional I really hope of course the UK doesn't get any of this you can see UK right now sitting under a lovely about a lovely 20 21 22 degrees in many areas um, which is a lot more pleasant um, so I really do hope we don't ever see anything this hot um, as I really don't think I would be able to cope let alone many other people in many other vulnerable people in the UK so anyway thanks for watching Make sure you check out my video later on UK Outlook, which I can tell you right now isn't looking anywhere near as hot as this. Potentially a bit hotter in the longer outlook um, or longer forecast, but nowhere near as hot as this. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed subscribing to you and I'll see you again for another video soon.